Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today, we will discuss raster resampling process in ArcGIS Pro. In this video, I will talk about the resample function, where we use it, how we use it, and what are the different ways of using resampling. Resampling can change the pixel size or the resampling type of the raster data or both. Now, why do we need it? Oftentimes, while working with multiple raster data with different projections and map resolutions, it is pertinent that we resample the data to a common resolution and projection system. That's why we use this tool. Now, if we go to Analysis, Tools, Toolboxes, Data Management, Raster, Raster Processing, and select Resample. And down here, under Resampling Technique, you see there are four options. Nearest, Bilinear, Cubic, and Majority. Among these four, Nearest and Majority is best suited for discrete data such as features with discrete classes. And bilinear and cubic are best for continuous data, such as elevation, rainfall, temperature, etc. In this exercise, we'll be using the slope data from a DEM. This DEM is from northern part of West Virginia. Here, we'll only be discussing the nearest and majority technique. To do that, first, we need to reclassify the slope data into different classes. You can do that by using the reclassify tool. You can simply type reclassify under geoprocessing. And here is the tool. Input raster will be our slope data. Reclass field will be the value. And if you hit classify here, you can choose how many classes you want. And it will create the values and the class divisions by itself. However, if you want, you can always change um, these values. Now, if you click run, here you have your reclassified slope data. First, we will discuss the nearest neighbor technique. This technique assigns a value to each corrected pixel from the nearest uncorrected pixel. As I mentioned before, it is mostly used for discrete data. However, it can be applied on continuous data as well if the original reflectance is preserved. Remember, this method may cause an offset by half a pixel. If we go to our geoprocessing tab here, and let's search for resampling. Input raster will be our classified slope data. Select your output raster data set. And resampling technique will be the nearest. Now hit run. Here is our result. We will compare this with the next process in a moment. Next is majority. It produces smoother result than the nearest neighbor technique. This method determines the value of pixels based on the most frequent value in the filter window. In most cases, the window is a 3 by 3 cell. As this is also suitable for discrete data, we, will going to, we are going to use the same classified slope data, change this technique to majority, and hit run. Here is the result of our resampled majority process. If we look at it closely, this is our nearest data, and this is our majority data. 
we do not see a lot of changes here but if we uncheck these two and compare this nearest one with the reclassified slope data so this is our slope data and this is our nearest data you can probably see a little bit of less speckles again if we compare this majority with the reclassified slope data let's uncheck the majority one there this is definitely a smoother picture compared to the reclassified slope data but we don't see lots of difference to recap in this video we learned about two techniques of resampling raster data we also saw how to reclassify raster data to produce discrete data we have compared both nearest and majority results I think this is a great stopping point. Tune in for the next video where we will discuss about the other two methods of resampling. This has been Tesselbytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.